In today's FX markets, let's take a look at the Euro futures as they're experiencing some higher price action today. Euro futures coming off of some selling pressure last week where they did trade down to the lowest level in six months when you look at that December future at one spot 0678. Higher now for a second session, up about a third of a percent today at the one spot 073 level. That is off the intraday highs though. We did see the Euro higher at one point coming off those intraday highs at one spot 074 but still holding on to a gain for a second session. And when you look at some of the factors contributing to the price action this week, really I think it's central banks are in focus. Last week, ECB moving forward with a quarter point hike, uh, 25 basis point hike in their rates. And the markets, uh, again, uh, weren't sure how that was gonna play out. Uh, there was a fair amount of uh, expectation that they were gonna potentially raise, but they did go ahead. And uh, so the markets are digesting that with Several ECB officials now discussing policy moving forward. I think that's one of the factors contributing to the price action. Second of all, it does feel like there's some repositioning here, particularly at the low levels for the euro as we head into that Fed announcement on Wednesday. As uh, again, the markets are digesting very essential banks this week. We have uh, Bank of England and the Bank of Japan later this week as well. So I think all these things are contributing to the price action. Now, when you look at the euro, uh, it's coming off of those recent lows, which uh, Really, I mean, they tested and t did break through slightly those June lows, early late May, early June lows. And now, really, when you look at the price action, uh, we are trading just above uh, those levels going back to June as well as uh, the middle of March. So, again, at the low end of the range here for the last six months. And also, in today's price action, we are seeing, really, all the major FX markets, uh, futures markets, higher on the session. Uh, a little bit of renewed strength here the last couple of sessions. The euro being the uh, most relative, showing the most relative, relative strength today, up uh, about a little over a third of percent. But we're seeing um, the British pound slightly higher. The Japanese yen is higher as well. Canadian dollar, Swiss franc. Uh, so again, Australian dollar. So we're seeing uh, some renewed strength here across the board after some selling pressure, really for the significant part of July and August, uh, at least short term some uh, upside uh, price action here as we start out the week when you look at the euro up for a second session.